Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another prediction video. Obviously you can tell by the title and thumbnail today is my early World Cup predictions for the 2022 World Cup. Anyway, let's get straight down to this video. So guys, you know what to do. A big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So, we're going to start off with the host Qatar. I know nothing about Qatar personally. I know about some of their bleeps and all that, but as a football team, I really know nothing, um, unfortunately, you know. Uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, World Cup for the host, though. First time it's been host in Qatar. It's going to be a very interesting World Cup for Qatar. But I think Qatar will win one of their games, at least, in the World Cup. And I'm going to give them third spot because of that. I think Qatar to finish a player I'd be quite happy with. Um, obviously, I'll have to wait to see what happens, but I'll give Qatar third for Group A. Next one is Ecuador. Don't really know nothing. Well, I do know a few players from Ecuador. I know Carcelo's one. I think Isquierdo. Don't quite quote me on that. But used to play for one. I think he might be Ecuadorian. Ecuadorian have got quite a good few players there. I'm going to give them. Top spot, I believe. Um, just purely for the matter of fact, I think I can do it. Third, uh, obviously, we've got Sigourney. Now, Sigourney has, I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly, by the way. You know, we've got the likes of Marnie in there. We've got a few good players in there. Marnie, obviously, gone to Bayern Munich. It's going to be very interesting. If it's not been quite preferred, he's been strongly linked with Bayern Munich at this time but I'm gonna give him full spot because I reckon Qatar will win that game against Sigourney. And in second spot I give the Netherlands Netherlands purely because of the matter of fact they haven't qualified for the first lot of majors in a while. Uh, I think this is maybe the first one in the past three big ma uh, major international tournaments. But you know I'll give him second spot. Surely Netherlands will be happy with second spot. The likes of Daily Blimp, uh, Iron Robin, Robbie Van Persie, all them great legends that's played in the past. I'm not sure whether Daily Blimp is still uh, international, uh, whether he's retired from international or not, I'm not too sure. But, you know, Netherlands surely finished in second place in this group. Um, that's the least they could do, surely. Um, obviously, it's going to be an interesting World Cup anyway. Let's just see what happens there. Now we go on to Group B. So group B, we got England, we got Iran, we got United States of America, and we got Wales. Now let's go from top to bottom again. Uh, so we start off with England. England have lost their last four Nation League games. Uh, people asking for Gareth Southgate to be sacked, especially England. some of you fans. I'm not saying all of it, all of you have. Um, but some of your fans have asked for Gareth Southgate to be sat. I say given this World Cup, not only do I find this World Cup po pretty much pointless, you know, being in the Middle East, fair enough, Middle East can have the World Cup, um, not, nothing against that. But really changing our season, having a World Cup in the middle of winter, or our winter, Obviously, I can't actually play it in the summer over there because it's too hot. You have got to think about, you know, it's still 30, 40 degrees and you're seeing players struggle um, in other countries. can't quite remember. There was quite a, quite a uh, casual, casual game, but the heat was so hot you could see the players struggling. This got to be an interesting World Cup. As I said, I find it pointless because it's in the middle of our winter. That's just my opinion. Please feel free to put your opinions down in the comments below. Back to my prediction with England. It's going to be a very interesting tournament for England. Surely England have got to maybe, if not win it, maybe another final for Gareth Southgate to keep his job. But I reckon they, this is quite a tough one for me because I know the United States could do well and I know Wales could do well as well. So to me, it's a top three with England. Um, where do I put them? I'm going to probably put them just to go through into second i don't think i get top spot um but yeah second for me for england unfortunately 
Next up I ran, don't really know nothing about them, not going to lie. Um, but I'm going to stick them bottom for obvious reasons. Sorry, Iran. Next one, United States of America. Now, United States, obviously, one of the biggest um, countries in the world, I believe, the North, South. Um, had quite a few good players as well with the bar. But I'm going to stick them into third spot for the United States of America. Which then obviously these were second and that obviously goes to Wales. I watched Wales and the Ukraine um, playoff game for the spottedness. And I was quite impressed with Wales. You know, I'm going to lie with what I saw. I saw a belief, I saw a fight. You know, Ryan Geese has now stepped down as well as Wales manager to help, obviously try and help him progress. And not go over there with all the players on their mind for all what's going on with gigs. But I really am. I'll be very surprised if I don't see Wales in top spot. Or even qualify for the last 16 in this competition. But we're going to have to wait and see. And now we go on to Group C. So Group C we've got Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Poland. Go from top to bottom again. Argentina, the likes of Lionel Messi, they've got so many good players, and Josh Di Maria, they've had so many great players in the past, they still have the great players that they do. Obviously, one man's name don't stand, well, not really. Anyway, so we're going to go on, where do I stick Argentina? It's going to be a very interesting time for Argentina. Uh, sh surely they're going to get top two. Now, if I stick them in the top two, I think I'm going to have to. I think I'll stick Argentina in the top, but it's definitely two hard decisions later on. But yeah, I'll give Argentina a top spot in Group C. Next up, Saudi Arabia. No, really nothing about this. I, I really do need to top up on my um, Middle Eastern football um, I do apologise but I know I've had some great players in the past but I think this could be too tough for them so I will put them bottom into fourth spot next up is Mexico now Mexico the likes of Chitrito Hernandez um, who plays for LA Galaxy now they've had so many great players in the past but they got one of a team in the group, and obviously, you know, it's Poland. I'm going to stick Mexico into third. And now, obviously, Poland only take the one spot in there. But the likes of them, Dusky, they've had so many great players in the past as well. I just can't remember them all off the top of my head. But I'm going to stick them into second. So that leaves Argentina, Poland to go through in Group C. Now on to Group D. France, Denmark, Tunisia, Australia. France, obviously you have to start with French. Benzema, you know, we've had the likes of Terry and Rui in their team in the past. Zinedine, they've had so many great players. One nationality that I've actually looked at every year and thought they're a pretty strong squad. Giroud, um, they've, as I said, they've had so many great players. I could pretty much speak about them in one separate video, but I'm not. Um, so, France, with the likes of teams that go in their group, I'm going to go France into first. Denmark's next up. Now, Denmark, the likes of Kasper Schmeichel, Christian Eriksen, obviously what happened in the last tournament. We, actually, I was watching that game live. I'll never forget that. It's horrible. I hope it do not happen again, ever. Um, you know, they've got so many great players in their squad. I'm going to have to put them into second, though. Um, sure because as a matter of fact, I can't see the other two nations getting through, unfortunately. Ch next up, Tunisia. Yet again, my Tunisian background into football ain't really that great, I ain't going to lie to you. But, you know, maybe it was surprising now, one, maybe, but for that reason, I'm going to have to come into fourth. Last up, Australia. Obviously, got to come into third spot. The likes of Matty Ryan going uh, to the World Cup, Aaron Moore, 
Molly, jag fick ta sig mitt pris, den kom ju en hand på den och så är från henne håll vi vång. Vi fick så mycket bra plats i passet var att bygga ett fältspot i grupp D. Next up, grupp E, Spain, Germany, Japan, Costa, uh, Costa Rica, I hope I pronounced that correctly as well. But now, obviously, that's going top to bottom again. Spain, great players. You know, they've had great players in the past and still have a great team, even though they may not be as strong as what it was in the past, but still got great players there anyway. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to stick Spain and I'm going to stick them in first. So I reckon that's where I finish when the group games I finish being played. Next up, Germany. Now, they've had so many great players over the past and still are a pretty much great team. Um, now this was a real, I'll never, I never actually looked at these groups, you know, prior to this video, so it's all coming really much off the cuff of what I'm thinking you're hearing it as well. But Germany, um, actually now I'm going to switch Germany and Spain around, I reckon Germany will finish top of group E, and I reckon Spain will finish second in group E, um, but Germany have so many great players. That game definitely got to be one to watch. I'm hoping it's being played during the week. <laughs> I'm hoping because obviously you know what comes on the weekends. Third, Japan. Um, now Japan have had so many great players as well during the past, but I will give them third, and I'll give Costa Rica fourth. Um, I know Costa Rica have qualified for the, you know, few majors here and there, but. I can't see them doing much damage to Spain or Germany. And I reckon that Japan will toss up who will come third and fourth. But we're going to have to see and wait what happens there. Now on to Group F. Belgium, Canada, Morocco and Croatia. Um, you know, we've got the likes of Luka Modric. They're not England out of a tournament in the qualifier stages. I think it's around about 2010 when that did happen. Croatia, I reckon will finish more than likely in second in this group. I can't see any other reason why I can't get through to the last 16. But obviously we're going to have to wait to find out to see what happens. So let's see what happens. Next up, Morocco. I'm going to give them third where we're actually sat now. Um, you know, why, why should I put them anywhere else? I think uh, the top spot is already gone. Canada, yeah, again, I'll give them, I'll give them bottom. I reckon that game between Morocco and Canada will decide who finished third and fourth. Belgium top spot, the likes of Lino, Trossard, Lukaku, and uh, not Lukaku. Is Lukaku Belgium? No, I don't think he is. Might be, but not. Don't think. No, don't think he is. S scrap that. Um, both uh, Kevin De Bruyne. They've got so many great players. Surely they're going to finish top in Group F. Now on to Group G, Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland and Cameroon. Um, go back to top to bottom again. I'm just trying to do it so I remember all the teams. Brazil has so many great players in the past. Really have dipped in form over the past few years. Um, qualified, they've qualified to qualify for tournaments. Now, I hope that makes sense by the way. Um, but we're back in the 22 World Cup. Oh, I got to put a bit of damage in this group. I think they will, but I think they might finish second in Group G. Serbia, only one player sticks out for a penny for Serbia. I do apologise. And that's obviously uh, Mitch Fidge. Obviously, my Premier League is a lot stronger than anywhere else in the world at this present time. I really must get better at, at foreign football. Um, but I have seen Serbia play a few times in the major competition. Do ever so well, but I believe they will finish in third. Switzerland, obviously, yeah, again, seen them play many, many a times. Um, I'm going to give them top spot. I believe that game between Brazil and Switzerland will decide who gets top spot in Group G. And that obviously leaves me Cameroon. Who I put into four. Now the last group, Group H, Korea, um, Uruguay, 
Ghana and Portugal go from top to bottom for the last one. So we start off with Korea. I don't think that they will do uh, great in this group. I believe I've already got my top two. Um, but I think they will finish third in Group H. Uruguay, obviously great players in the past and still getting a great player. But I believe they will qualify for the last 16 and I'll put them into second. Ghana, yeah again, no really nothing about Ghana unfortunately. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly as well. Um, I'll stick them into bottom purely because I think that get back down between Korea and Ghana will decide who finishes in bottom. And then obviously I'll give Portugal top, the likes of Ronaldo and all the great players that played in the red shirt and continue to play in the red shirt as well of Portugal doing great things. But anyway guys, this is my World Cup early predictions for 2022 World Cup. But anyway guys, you know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, give a big thumbs up, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.